Hey guys, hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to Pope Man in EU4 Antebellum. It is time. We got Sons of Admiralty on. It's time. It is time to lay the smack down on these lads. They wanted to join a coalition to cut us down. We have literally so many forts up here. Like what the heck? We have one, two, three, four, five, six forts just in these like general vicinity. Some of them better than others, I will admit. I'll probably get rid of a few of them. Like this one here is good because it's a coastal hills fort. The rest, not so much. Stab cost modifier or admin. It's fine. So, the war goal is Niza. So I should probably get over there and siege that down. Let's uh, split you guys. Get a general on you. Very good. I will scorch a couple of my forts over here, specifically my defensive ones. That way, if they want to fight me, they can. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want to reinforce there. Oh, they do. They do. I'll also do one of these guys as well. A little bit of extra men out there in the front line. Scorch it again. Or scorch that one. Uh, I'll take Miltech as well. I'll let the other ones go first. Here we go. Come over here. Wipe out this small stack. Uh, okay. Right, it was scorch. Those guys heading over there. Get some spy network. So let's do that. Let's get some spy network on um, these guys. Come over here. Wipe you out. National manpower modifier. Yes, please. So that way, if they want to reinforce, they can. But they're just going to get stack wiped. These guys are locked in over here onto a hills fort. And you just keep on jumping back and forth. They're like, you know what? I don't want that anymore. But I will come over here to this hills fort. So I'll say, okay, cool. And dude, oh my gosh. What a good choke point this is, huh? All right. I should probably upgrade my infantry. So let's do that first. Give these guys a couple of months. Oh, they paid to barrage the walls. You don't say, huh? I'll let my infantry go up a bit. Head over here. If they want to reinforce, they can. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. 7 percenter. I'm not sure if I like that, those odds. Let's, um, yoink, state it, defensiveness. That way their siege ticks are so <laughs> 54 day siege ticks. I love it. I'm going to come over there, wipe you guys out. There you go. Those guys are dipping, so they can reinforce if they want, but uh, it's going to take them a while. Meanwhile, their boys are getting absolutely destroyed on the front line. They're dogpiling. Doesn't matter. I'm going to come in here and get stack wiped. Very good. Dude, it's so strong. I'll even actually come up here and attack you guys in the mountains like I give a rip. Look at this. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it? Easy enough, right? That's that's a coalition, by the way. They've lost 65,000 men. I have lost a 13. 13 men, thousand men. Needless to say, Pope man, battle Pope looking strong. Needless to say. Speed five for a moment here. There you guys go. You want to come over here? They are locked in. Very good. I will get a shift consolidate in. Look at that, man. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. I feel so bad. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so that fort right there will take these guys back, but this is fine. I'm going to get my men together so we can start wiping as many of their men as humanly possible. So what we do is we come over here. They say, you know what? I'm feeling good about this. Let's come on in. They're going to say, actually, I take, take it back. I want to reinforce. And I say, okay, sounds good. 80,000 to 20,000. So one for four. Not bad. Get over here to Mentuva. They shouldn't be able to see me here, but they can because the AI can actually see through fog of war. Cool fact for you. But uh, yeah, so in this war, I'm going to take everything I have claims on. I don't care. Like the coalition means nothing to me anymore. At this point, I can fight any coalition because I will be defensive, right? They cannot get here. And even if they were to say, you know, come down and say, you know what? We're stronger than you. We have more men than you. I will say, you know what? You're right. I'm going to hire mercs now because I'm rich, right? This is what happened in my, um, in my, uh, which, which, uh, Switzer Lake campaign where the AI just kept dogpiling in these coalitions. And I'm like, you realize you can't siege me down because I have like hundred defensiveness forts, right? 
Those guys over here. Very good. Hello and goodbye. Hello. This is Hills, so that's an easy win for me. Shift consolidate. Full front row. And, uh, yep. Your eyes do not deceive you. You are seeing giant stack wipes. Filthy stack wipes. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at that. How about it? Social mobility, huh? There you go. There you go. Oh no, there's CG down man too. Uh, oh no. Oh, I'm so scared. Whatever will I do? I'm going to have to come over here and fight them now. And there you go. 28,164. Thousand men. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So I should probably get down here and uh, occupy these guys because I would like to take Sicily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Ooh, yes, I can hire a few more men. So let's get a couple more cannons because we have 24. Combat width is 27. So I'll hire four more of them. Might as well get a couple more infantry as well. And we're going to have those guys group up and use the ships to get down there to siege down Sicily. Because I will take Sicily in this war. I may full, full annex Sicily just to remove his tag. But uh, I'm not dead set on it. In the meantime, I'm going to come over here and uh, occupy a couple of these guys. Get you guys over here. Barrage some walls because we have plenty of mill mana to spare. Plus, it's cheap, right? How much is it now? 40? Between our uh, all power costs. Oh no, they're sieging down my fort over here. Whatever will I do with my... Oh wow, that defensiveness is not very good. That must be a good sieger, yeah. Tyrol is a good sieger. It's fine. I will definitely... Oh. I think... I'm pretty sure I just won like a, you know... Like 20 percenter, which is awesome. I actually wasn't looking, but... We won Saluzo as well. Very good. Take these techs. Get you guys down here. Okay. So, they're starting to get a bunch of men together. So, what you do is you come on over and you say, Actually... Oh no, Bavarian Venice have entered my coalition. Oh no, I'm so scared. I'm nervous. I'm shaking and crying. And rinse and repeat, right? Oh no, they're leaving. <laughs> Let's just get up here and siege this capital down too. Screw you guys. I'll attack you into your mountain fort. You think I give a rip? Lombardy join? Ah, shoot. All right, that's bad news. That's okay though. So I'm not going to piece this war out until we uh, occupy them. Because I want Malta at the very least. And I also want this province here if I can take it. All right, I take it back. We're heading back in. We're actually getting low on manpower. So I'm going to slack in my recruiting standards. Get some extra manpower in the bank. Admittedly, we're probably losing a ton of men to attrition. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost one third of the men that I've lost to attrition. They've lost theirs all to battle. Which I I appreciate that. I'll come on up here and attack them in the mountains. You think I care? I don't. I really don't. Look at that. 2,000 men. Rest in peace to those absolute heroes and patriots, right? Alright, 1% attrition is fine. I can handle that. We are now sieging him down. Let's uh, barrage those walls. Oh no, Ryzon is over here now. I don't care about that war. I told you, if they actually came over here, it wouldn't bother me. Pope man defending, defender of the Pola of the Christ Catholic faith over here in Polotsk. We'll do it eventually. That's part of our mission tree. We will definitely handle it eventually. Let's get these guys over here. Win this siege, get over it. So my coalition has grown, but it definitely won't attack. That won't fire. Won't fire this time. You guys will get full annexed. Nope, you will. You do not have a say. I will sink your navy as well. That should actually give me the reasons that uh, that they're acting like they need from me. Very good. 14 AE, big whoop. I don't care. Oh yes, they don't want to give me all their money. <laughs> all right, core that up. We also get Dismantle the Sultanate, which gives five years of separatism for the rest of the game. That's really strong. That's minus 2.5 unrest in every province upon uh, annexation. It's really good. All right. 
I cannot demand Saluzo because it is too much AE or too much war score, which is fine. So what I'll do, since this coalition is going to be pretty nutty, is I will do a yearly tick peace deal. Actually, I'm kind of okay with uh, dragging this war out a little bit more if it means that I can prevent a coalition from firing entirely. Let's attack these guys over here. All right, they're on low enthusiasm. I should be able to peace out. Fierce Negotiator. Nope, we're good. Put those guys up there. There we go. Not too bad. So now, if I take a look here, Bohemia, Liege. So I'll just wait to the end of the year and I'll peace out. Bohemia is strong enough that I don't want them to join. Uh, neither of those matter because we're not losing either of them. Yeah, they're over here sieging down my vassal, which is annoying. Very annoying, actually. Get you guys over here. Get you guys over here with a new general. We'll eventually start rolling good generals. All right, they peaced out. Does that mean I lost Defender of the Faith? I did. Oh, no. Retake it. Uh-huh. Let's also go with some... Manufactories. Probably would like some for the paper, huh? Don't have admin tech yet for it. Get a little more naval force limit. Very good. Oh no, they're over here sieging his stuff back. I will just peace out now. That's fine. Which will allow me to get crush the republics, which gives me money and trade efficiency, which is good. And then Kingdom of God, I have to full annex Lombardy. Which, um... Yep, not going to happen. They're Catholic as well. Unfortunate. All right. So this state, we will yoink. Core up. Core up. And I will full core everything else over here. Our uh, governing cap is starting to struggle a bit. People are entering our coalition because, you know, they have the right to. So... I suppose I should just attack them. Frankia will not join because he's the emperor. Right. Well, I guess this is fine. Whatever. Savoy will rejoin in Saluzo. That's fine. So what do I need to actually form the kingdom of God, right? I need Trent, Milan, and Torino. So I just need Milan and then Trent. So Trent was not in that war, right? Where they? They were not. Hmm. Okay, well, let's attack our coalition again, I suppose. Go for Pavia. Why not? It says that we would we are not looking good in this war. I beg to differ. We are very much looking good in this war. Let's also get these guys up here. No reason to not have them there. Oh. Interesting. Those guys got stuck there. I'll have my big my bigger stack up here. Oh no, people are joining my coalition. You guys get it, get it catching on to the trend here. Once we convert Malta, we will have less unrest there. Let's uh, get all these guys done here. The reason why I'm doing the production is just more production money. It, it increases goods produced, more money in our trade node. All around good stuff, right? So once we're done handle getting everybody into our co coalition, that it get everybody that is in our coalition on a truce, then I will um, start working on getting um, Bulgaria dismantled. His cores are going to last forever for the most part, right? Some of them might not because of like the whole culture stuff, but a lot of this is Greek over here, yeah? Where are we at here? Yeah, so a lot of this is Greek culture. So if it's Greek, he won't lose con he won't lose his cores, right? Actually, that's not true, because uh, Greek Byzantium is not the primary tag of Greek culture. Greece is. I I R C. These guys over here, aha! They wised up to me. 
it's fine. So I wonder if I could separate piece Saluzo. 17 dev is quite a bit, actually. People even up here are joining our coalition. Look at this. What are we at here? Pisa, base tax, or base manpower in Verona. Yeah, it's fine with me. Give a Verona two dev clicks there. Let's actually click that button first. There you go. Beautiful. So in order for the St. Peter's Basilica, which will give us 10 idea cost, a point cardinal cost, that's fine. It's more the idea cost. That's so expensive though. 7,000? Yeah, never mind. I changed my I changed my mind for now. Um I need to upgrade a couple of these. That's fine. We're collecting a lot more over here as well. We are so rich. We are so rich. So in this war, I want to take at least these two. Something like that. Actually, that, yeah, that's perfect because that locks them in here so nobody will be able to take them. The coalition will continue to grow. So it looks like maybe we just can't worry about... Um, we're just not allowed to worry about Byzantium for now. We just get getting disease outbreaks left and right. So make sure these guys are both on defensiveness is good. Win some sieges eventually. Eventually. There we go. Get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. Oh no, are they going to reinforce? They're not. They, not. they never will. Siege this one down as well. The coal the other rest the rest of the coalition has declared war. <laughs> See, like this this is the part of the game where stuff gets a little funky because these other coalitions are like, oh no, he's already at war with this many people. We should attack him. And then they attack me. And now look at this. Like, I don't care. I don't care at all. So we got a new guy, 341. We are no longer the Pope Man, unfortunately. That's unfortunate, but it's not a big deal. Um, so let's make sure we're stating this stuff up as well. Once we're done coring, of, of course. All oh, right, I'm at war with uh, Savoy. Are they in the coalition? No, they're just a belligerent. Okay, so I need to piece Savoy out here. Get you guys over here. Just need to piece out Savoy, that's all. Yep, just siege down his capital and we win. Oh, Croatia. That's Carniola. I got Carniola and Croatia mixed up. Same thing, right? So Brabant joined that one. This one is going to be... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, honestly. Well, this is fine. You know, I'll prob what I'll probably do is I'll just get the longest truce possible with most of these guys. So like these guys, I'll just piece you out. Trade power, as much money as you're willing to give me. That's fine. That's totally, totally fine. Because now these cores will actually proceed, which is good. These guys, I probably won't take any clay. But I will destroy the, the coalition. That way I can come over here, attack Bulgaria. Look at Venice is down here in Croatia. Very funny. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. We're going to have to let his war exhaustion go basically all the way up. over here. It looks like they're actually getting sieged down by zealots, which is hilarious. So let's help you out here. We're good guys, right? Look at Pope Man over here. Rescuing them from zealots. Frankia will handle all that up there. I will not have a single province occupied in this war. They think that they will, but they won't. Get those guys out of there. How are you able to march through that fort, huh? You guys cheating? Yeah, they're cheating. They're cheating. There you go. That's fine. I'll fight the zealots or the rebels. Win in some sieges over here because uh, I lose the prestige. That's fine. Very good. I don't think so. Get out of there. Free mana. Man. This game is uh, a bit too easy, if I'm being honest. I will take trade power from him. Get up here to Munich. What's his capital? Munich. Yes, very good. 
Get up here, Siege Town Franconia. Saluzo is getting sieged back again. Oh, uh, free, free tech uh, buffs. Saluzo, we'll get separate piece. Can I take your capital? No, I will not. I will not be able to. But uh, what I can do is take all your money. So I'll do that. No problem. Heidelberg has been won. Come up here, siege down Frankfurt. Not too bad. Charge, extra discipline. Never say no to that. We've won Munchen. Diplo relations, trade power. Yeah, I'll take the trade power, please and thank you. So, this war will be for trade power and then all your money. That's what this piece is. Basically, I want the longest truce I could possibly get with these guys, which will help me out with uh, my aggressive expansion ticking down. It's a shame that I lost the uh, Papal Controller because that really does hurt me when it comes to um, the 20% AE reduction you get from being the Papal Controller. Like, that's a lot. 20% is insane. Like, game-changing insane. Slothringian this? No, they're not. It's coming up, Siege on Liege. I don't know who's in which one, the, which war though. So these guys are not in that one. Why is Saxony that color? That is crazy. Um, Venice, huh? These guys are full occupied. Hilarious. Let's come on over here and siege down these forts. He's on low enthusiasm now, so he's much more willing to peace out. Just kidding, he's not. He's on minus 30 still. Minus 14. Yep. You guys are going to get uh, your alliance dissolved. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you. Four. There we go. Occupy these guys. There you go. All of his money. And a truce with like literally half of Europe. Take a look at that. I have a truce with all of these guys now. And this will finally allow me, finally, to uh, get going over in Bulgaria. So let's just have these guys march down here to Athens. Let's have these guys uh, brought by boat over to Athens. Hopefully we have 28, 27 boats. Ugh, just slightly short. Basically, I just want Frankia to handle that, but uh, they don't seem too interested in. I'll just white piece them, it's fine. Military tech? That's a bit far ahead of time, don't you think? Let's see here. Let's do some dev. Let's dev this state over here. Local dev cost. Verona. go there we go we'll still be able to take tech on time i don't really care about the innovativeness a whole lot we're still gaining plenty let us full state you obviously we have plenty of admin our governing cap is uh going to be an issue what's our next one here national unrest diplo relations that's nice Divine Guidance gives max absolutism. Really? What's our max absolutism right now? Where are we at here? Maximum absolutism is 20. <laughs> but obviously we have a bunch of these guys. So now it's actually 25 and we can revoke a couple of these guys. So I don't I don't actually know if that will be super worth it. Um, what's the next one? Theocratic democracy is disables the diet. So it's a parliament. Okay. But that immediately, like instantly gets rid of 20 absolutism that we have locked tied up in that. So that's not bad. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. I will state this up as well. No reason not to. Get that there. Get that there. Very good, very good. Not bad, cool. Have you guys converted that clay? They have not. So let's convert for our vassal as well. No reason not to. Giving him a lot of uh, religious unrest. 
Don't need you over here either. So let's get rid of you. We have no rebels looking to pop. We're good. We are very, very good. These guys are... What? Oh my gosh. Uh, if I attack, it should black flag them, right? So Pannonia will get called in. Moldavia. Zafirosia. But none of them have any armies. Look at this crap. All right, so let's go for Thessaly. My guy's got black flag. Very good. Let's get these guys up here. Uh, yeah, they have literally no armies. None of these guys do. Look at these guys. Pannonia, 8,000. Wallachia, 5,000. I do not care at all. This game, this one is over already before it even began. We're going to come down here and try to siege down my boys? I don't think so. The printing press has spawned. And uh, I get some support in Venice and in uh, Roma. Very good. Sinking his navy. I lost some ships. He lost more ships. Very good. Have these guys attack them over here. Easy clap. Oh, yeah. This war is over already. Cool. Well, we'll wrap it up in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you want to support me, got a Patreon and merch linked in the description, as well as our Discord, Twitter, all those fun stuff. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Big special thanks to my top mace supporters on Patreon. Drunk Binary, Bloodbound, Mr. McFlu, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Batman on Deck, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Tharo, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Jacko, R. Harvest, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchel, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilot, Stolier, and many more.